you know, every uh, every tournament's somewhat um, somewhat similar. Um, you know, you um, you play on Monday and then you, you get a couple of days off, and it, sometimes it just takes a little bit to get going. Uh, and that's certainly what happened today. You know, we, we just took a little bit of time to get going, but once we once we got into some kind of rhythm and got some flow and um, the ball started to move, I thought, you know, I thought we played really, really well. And, um, you know, it's, it's tournament time, so you've got to, you just got to figure out a way to win the game and, and, and play well. And, you know, we had, you know, these two guys played really, really well, especially, and, and then you know, we got to do it again tomorrow. Take questions for Coach, please. Raise your hand. We'll get a microphone over here to Pat. Pat Eaton, Ralph from the AP. Uh, Gino, can you, uh, Olivia picks up two fouls in the first quarter and you bring in Aubrey. Can you just discuss, you know, the, the performance she gave tonight and, and, and how that sparked your team? Yeah. Um, you know, the one thing about Aubrey is she's, she's going to bring a certain, uh, a certain energy level to, to the game. Um, she can impact the game defensively and she can impact the game, um, you know, on the, on the, on the glass. And, and, Either on the offensive end or the defensive end, but especially on the offensive end, to give you an opportunity to, you know, get another possession. Um, she's just active, and she's um, again, she's got energy, and she's active, and she's got the ability to go to go get the ball, and not have the ball come to her. She goes and gets it, and she made a huge difference today. I mean, that's. That's what you hope, you know. It's unfortunate that Liv got those fouls, but um, I thought this was one of Aubrey's best games that she's played all year. Coach, you had some good inside-outside flow or in the first quarter and into the second. Do you think that opened up the outside and got you going? Yeah, we we shot the ball we shot the ball better as the game went on. Um, I, as our defense gets better. And we get more opportunities, we have more open shots. So um, when Liv was in the game, you know, we wanted to make sure that we got her the ball. And if they were going to double her, she was going to kick it out. Um, but in the, sec in the second quarter, especially in the rest of the game, we were able to, to get the ball out in transition and get, get our feet set before the defense got set. And, you know, we have really good shooters. So... Uh, we're not exactly a pounded in the lane kind of team, you know, but that doesn't mean we can't get, you know, we can't get, um, we can't get baskets. Um, but our game is to push it up the floor and, and if we can get in the lane, great. And Anna did a really good job of getting in the lane and finding people. And as I said, we're a good, we're a good three point shooting team. Crystal, I think you guys had what, like 14 three-pointers today, shot better from three-point range than, than, than overall. Can you explain uh, what led to those open three-pointers and, and was it just kept, you know, contagious when Anna started making them or how did that work? Uh, yeah, I think they started uh, coming in transition early on. Um, we were pushing the ball, and when we pushed the ball, the defense is, you know, scrambling to look for cutters going to the rim, and we do that, you leave the three-point line open, and we were finally able to knock some in, and then after that, in the second half, we were able to move the ball around, and when you move the ball, it finds the open person. You can stay with that. Megan, can you talk about the job the two freshmen did in their first um, postseason tournament and, and what that meant for you guys as a whole? Mm -hmm. um, you know, they've been playing well here recently, so I kind of expected them to come out and play well. You know, it's Aubrey's, I think, first double-double. Um, you know, Anna's been shooting the ball consistent, so that just helps our team. Here in the back row, please. Uh, yep, right here. Uh, Megan, uh, specifically Aubrey, um, you know, getting 16 rebounds like that, what type of lift does that give uh, the team, especially eight of them? Uh -huh. um, it gives us, you know, more opportunities uh, to score. You know, the more offensive rebounds we get, the better um, it helps us in more, creating more possessions. Um, you know, she can rebound uh, over almost anyone, so we want to keep that going. Back in front. 
Coach, when they got into that early foul trouble, I mean, how much impact did that have in the game? Uh, yeah, the, the game was called kind of funny today. Uh, you know, both teams had a couple guys with quick fouls, um, even though the, um, there weren't um, an, an awful lot of um, – of guys in foul trouble, they're just, it was just a, a weird kind of a officiated game. And you got to play through all that. And, um, you know, unfortunately, um, you know, Liv didn't get a chance to play as much as, as I would have liked to, to have seen her play. But we're lucky that we have somebody like Aubrey to come in and she's undersized. So she can't just stand there in the lane and, and do what Liv does. And offensively, she can't, you know, Occupy two people like Liv can, you know, so she's got to do it a different way, and and we we seem to be lacking a little bit of a of a spark in the beginning, and when she comes off the bench, that's usually what happens, and today was a perfect example of that. <coughs> Megan, you um, you had six players in double figures today. How does it when you have that kind of balance? How does that affect your offense and impact your offense and and um, can you just talk about how you guys have become more consistent over the last few weeks? It's huge for our offense, um, especially going into the, the postseason. Um, everyone's touching the ball, um, which is huge for us, and everyone's cutting and everyone's knocking in open shots. So it just elevates our, our game um, even more for the tournament. Final questions? Coach, just ask you to be a few words maybe about your, the uh, next matchup with South Florida, a team you obviously just saw a few days ago. Uh, yeah. Um, that, that, was, that was maybe one of the, if not the best first halves we played all year long, the first half that we had against uh, South Florida last Monday. Um, everything that we set out to do, we did. You know, that's, um, that's unique in that doesn't always work out that way. But that particular first half, I don't think we could have played any better. We couldn't have played better defensively. And I don't think our offense could have been any better. Um, can it be the same way tomorrow? I mean, they're a really good team. And they make you, they make it, they make you have to um, figure out a way to, to, to beat them in the half court. Because that's, you know, that's what they do. They, they just pack it in and they make you stand around and, and shoot jump shots. So tomorrow, you know, our, our ability to create stuff off our defense, we talked about it after the game, that that's when we're at our best. If we can create a lot of opportunities for ourselves with our defense, then, um, then we can beat anybody. And we can beat anybody if, if, if we create enough opportunities from our defense. And, and against a team like South Florida, that's what you got to do. UConn, thank you.